Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. This is Muhammad Badrud Duja back again with another lab. And today we are going to solve lab number three from OAuth authentication vulnerability module. So this lab is all about linking your profile with some another user or victim user. And we force that with the OAuth to link the profile. So the description of this lab is like this lab gives you the option to attach a social media profile to your account so that you can log in via OAuth instead of using the normal username and password. Now, due to the insecure implementation OAuth flow by the client application, an attacker can manipulate this functionality uh, to obtain access to other users account. Fine. So now to solve the lab, we need to craft a CSRF attack to attach your social media profile to the admin users or the victim user account on the blog website and then access the admin panel to delete the Carlos account. Now there are a few more things. The admin user will open anything you send from the exploit server and they always have an active session on the blog website. You can log into your own account using the following credentials. So this is our credentials as an attacker. Okay and we will try to link our profile to the admin user account which is going to be our victim because admin accounts have more privileges and we will good to go now i'm gonna enable the burp proxy on my browser so let's go and we are going to access the lab here let's go to the proxy history tab and here we can see we are getting the traffic Okay, um, let's try one more time. Yeah, this time we get it. Okay, so now the lab is open and I'm directly going to my account page. Okay, this is the login page. We can normally log in with the uh, credentials itself created on this blog website or we can also log in with the social media account so first of all i'm going to log in with the account that is created with this blog website right so the username is wiener and the password is peter which we have here you can see this one okay um let's log in not now and uh, let's see the request so this is very normal process and you can see there is no oauth kind of thing because this is the normal login process and the account itself uh, contained by the blog website database so there is uh, no open id provider or oauth uh, service included here in this scenario now you can see we are logged in logged in with uh, wiener user this is our email this is the api key fine now here we have one more option with which we can attach our social media profile so now let's go and uh, try to attach our social media profile so i'm gonna click it and as i click you can see this is the first request very first request which we saw before if you miss that uh, you must go and watch the previous video so you can understand this request because if you understand this I think 50% uh, of the part for the authentication and the flow uh, you will understand okay so you can see this is the first request where the authorization code will be asked and this is the client ID so whenever you are gonna uh, register with the OAuth service your device will get one client ID. It is automatically generated. This is the random number and unique number. Uh, redirect URI. This is the URI where the OAuth service API will send you the authorization code. Fine. And response type is code. Code means response type means code. That means authorization code grant type or flow is being used. Now scope this is very important i already defined before so scope is open id profile and email so this information is going to be uh, accessed by the uh, third party and we need to provide the consent about it but one thing is missed here uh, one parameter is missed here that is state so if state parameter is missed that means no csrf protection is being applied in this particular oauth flow 
authentication flow. Uh, if you see the login request, you can see here there is CSRF token. That means CSRF protection, some kind of protection is there. But here we missed a state parameter, which is being used for the uh, protection from the CSRF. OK, so without wasting time, we are going to uh, provide the username and password, first of all, about our social media. So this is our social media account username and the password is hot dog. I'm going to copy it from here and paste it here. Now let's sign in. Not now. And you can see we signed in. And as we come here, uh, as I mentioned before, we need to provide the consent because the third party application is going to try to access our profile information and email information and all. So provide the consent. And as we provide the consent, you will find here uh, this uh, request. This request also important because if you see the first request where uh, slash auth, you can see here it is already mentioned that the authorization code will be sent on this with with this uh, endpoint or auth linking. So here you can see after the consent is provided, this uh, authorization code is being sent and this is our authorization code. Okay. So fine. Now, if we continue, you can see we are again go to the dashboard or account page. And here we have every information and our social media account is already uh, attached with this uh, account. Fine. So one important part here is this, this authorization code. So what if, if I send this authorization code to someone else, okay, and we try that victim to access this authorization code instead of his genuine code, genuine authorization code during the OAuth process, okay, that means at that instant, if he will use or he or she will use that authorization code because that authorization code is unique and assigned to me, that means he will link my profile to his account. And that's what we are going to do here. So uh, what I'm going to do is we are going to capture because every time you try to access uh, try to access this blog website from the social media account every time you will get a unique authorization code every time you will get fine so let's go i'm going to the um, interceptor and let's uh, turn on the intercept and uh, attach social media profile one more time and let it forward okay you can see this is uh, again the request is generated for uh, asking the authorization code and with a scope and response type. Fine. Forward this request until you find here this authorization code. This is what I mentioned before. So if I go to the history, you will see this authorization code is every time I try to log in, this authorization code will be unique. So if I come back here, you can see it is started with Q and here you can see it is started with K. So every time this is going to be the unique. So I don't want to use it. I just want to keep it so that I can send it to the victim. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this URL completely and drop the request, make the intercept off and on the browser, I'm going to back. Okay. Now go to the exploit server. This exploit server is my controlled means hacker controlled exploit server. And from here I can offer any malicious code or malicious page. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create one iframe uh, tag. And within iframe, I'm going to mention source, which is going to be equal to the same uh, URL, which I copied from that request intercept request. And I'm going to close the iframe tag. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this and let's just deliver exploit to the victim. So now once the victim will access this URL and this iframe is loaded during the OAuth process, 
so once this authorization code is being processed or attached with victim's account it is going to link my profile to his account and here if i come back and uh, try to access my account one more time you can see here it's still uh, no account is attached here i'm gonna log out and let's try to log in again log in with social media and as i try to log in with social media you can see admin panel appear here okay so that means that means if i go to the access log okay here you can see this is this is our ip means my ip and this is different ip that means once the exploit is delivered to the victim and victim access that particular malicious code or page uh, it hits and the profile is linked uh, with the victim user now if i go to the admin panel you can see two users are appearing here so i'm gonna delete the carlos account to solve the lab and you can see congratulations you solved the lab if i go to the my account you can see this is the administrator account and you can see the social media account is still it's appearing my social media account peter.wiener but the user is administrator okay so my social media account is attached to the administrator so whenever i try to log in with a social media account i will find the administrator account so whenever i try to log in with social media i will get the admin panel why because my social media account is attached with the administrator so that's it for this lab i think you enjoyed and if you like the content please like subscribe and share i'm gonna see you in the next video if you have any query please put your comment and query in the comment section i will try to respond as soon as possible uh, see you in the next video bye